I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I'm chilling like a villain behind the wheel of an absolutely awesome and authentic 1969 Myers Manx Doom Buggy that I have deemed the real deal. To get into this video, uh, this is non-rehearsed, so everything that I'm going over here with you today is information that I've gathered about this particular vehicle. I will guarantee there's gonna be a few things that I miss, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com. You will see a very detailed description that I personally wrote. We do that with every vehicle we sell, and you will see a ton of highly detailed photos. We go really, really into detail with everything that we do, so please make sure to check out this vehicle on our website. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, you know that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. Uh, we've been doing that since inception. We're the only classic car dealership in the country who services every vehicle we sell. We document that work with an invoice. I will go over that invoice with you here in a minute. Uh, we detail these vehicles to a very high level, and then of course we put together these great presentations. So we are known for quality, presentation, and customer satisfaction. I stand behind every vehicle I sell, so please be rest assured uh, that you're getting a great vehicle from MS Classic Cars. Do your homework, research us, and I think you'll find nothing but great things about our company. So getting into this uh, binder here that I create for every vehicle that I sell, brand new binder. Uh, what I do is I take all the information on every vehicle. I put everything in methodical order uh, like I've done on this particular vehicle here. Getting into that invoice that I just mentioned a minute ago, uh, this is the invoice that you can clearly see in our photo gallery. Again, msclassiccars.com. It will show you everything that we've done. We invested a total of $7,050 and 83 cents in this vehicle here today. Um, we always have between 50 and 60 cars within our collection. Sometimes on our website, you only will see three, four, five, six cars. It's because of the process that we put these cars through. It's kind of like one of those things that you kind of have to uh, understand what goes into it. Uh, and you kind of pay for what you get for, and that's what we do here at the dealership. So we are not a high volume dealership. Uh, we just really specialize in doing things a certain way, and I think that will be evident throughout this presentation here today. So, when I was actually uh, looking at this vehicle to purchase, uh, the most important thing that stuck out to me uh, was this certificate of authenticity. Uh, this is actually a key component when you're looking at these particular vehicles uh, because you want to prove that these vehicles are real. Uh, this vehicle that you're looking at here today is real. Uh, since the passing of Bruce Myers in 2020, these vehicles have even become more popular than they are uh, in the past. 
and they are extremely red hot right now in the market. From the vibe I've gotten from different uh, people and some enthusiasts are spending some time on some websites and forums. Uh, these are going to keep continually to climb in value. Uh, I went on to the Myers Manx uh, website and they had a great bio uh, on Bruce Myers that we posted within our description as well. From what I've gathered, uh, there was a total of 5,280 of these kits that were sold uh, on the first gen. I'm going to refer to them as first gens. Some people call them number ones because they did make a couple of different uh, kits after the fact, but this is really the uh, one that's the most desirable of the uh, group. Uh, so again, only 5,280. I cannot document this now. I do have a phone call into them uh, trying to get the real number. Uh, but from what I've gathered, there's a only a few hundred of these in the registry. So they are very, very uh, hard to find, especially in the condition of this one here today. Uh, so again, really cool information. I would highly suggest that you check that out. Uh, so this restoration was completed by a gentleman in Florida. Uh, I believe it started around that 2012 time frame. He completed it in 2013. There are some receipts of that restoration that are, are included. Uh, one of those receipts, which was in April of 2013, um, was actually when he applied with Myers Manx for um, the authentication packet. Uh, so basically that was something that he had to go through. There's a bunch of information that has to be completed. Um, he provided all that information. Again, they granted him their certificate of authenticity, which is included here. There are two um, tags that are placed on the back here. One of them is the original tag, which is the most important tag. That's the one that actually reads BF Myers and Company. It actually has the number on there that designates what it was. So let me explain that to you quickly. And I'm just referencing my notes to make sure I don't make any mistakes here. That number uh, was M3133591E. So what I did is I broke it down. M is for Manix. Uh, 3133 is the production number. Remember I had said that they had made 5,280. Um, F9 means that it was produced in June. F is June. 9 would be 1969. And 15E is the color, royal blue metal flake. Now this color from again, information I've gathered and research, it is one of the most desirable colors. Blue is a super color in any car, especially with this flake paint. Uh, it makes this one very, very desirable. Uh, that was really cool. So again, that tag is on there. The other tag that's on there is the one that was provided during the certification process, which is right below it. And then of course on the floor, which is a one piece floor here, um, it also has what they refer to as a chassis number. Uh, when they were building these, that is stamped here in its correct spot. And something else that's really cool about this vehicle, sometimes when uh, these kits were sold, because they were using Volkswagen components, uh, a lot of them got titled as Volkswagens. A little sketchy, I guess, if you would, because essentially all they were using was the chassis and they weren't really uh, using anything else, maybe the engine and so forth or some of the suspension components. Uh, but this particular vehicle here is titled as a 1969 assembled vehicle doom buggy. So it's not titled as a Volkswagen, it's a titled as an assembled vehicle. Again, 1969, and it does have what's called a state assigned VIN number which was done in North Carolina, which is actually a really good thing. So you don't have to worry about any issues down the road. Um, one of the tags from the state was placed right next to the chassis number here and also on the firewall of the driver's side. So that was done very nicely as well. So uh, again, all that information can be seen on our website at msclassiccars.com. Uh, getting into the actual restoration, uh, this vehicle was what we refer to as a thorough nut and bolt restoration. Everything was completed from top to bottom, did an absolutely beautiful job. I would definitely say this is show quality. Uh, I'm not gonna go on record and say it's you know one of the best in the world, but I'm gonna go on record and say it's gotta be in the top 10% as far as quality is concerned. Um, it, again, as I mentioned earlier, the body here is beautiful. They did a super job on the body. These are fiberglass, 
So like a Corvette, you have to do a lot of body work to make them straight. Uh, from what I've gathered, these kits weren't perfect when they were sold new. This one was made to be as perfect as possible regarding all the lines. Again, it was finished in its original royal blue color. This is a color that uh, is amazing in the sunlight. You don't pick up as much of the metallic inside the showroom as you would outside, but it really, really glitters outside. It's like a, a serious piece of uh, jewelry is what it is. Um, some of the exterior features here, this is a new uh, tinted windshield. Uh, this was actually uh, lowered for better visibility uh, with the reflection from the sun. It's actually tinted glass. Uh, it's crystal clear, it's perfect. The window frame is actually gray, uh, which looks really, really nice, kind of a nice uh, look to it. It's got a brand new uh, rear view mirror that's attached to it, and you will notice that it does have windshield wipers. Some do, some don't. These wipers actually work beautifully. They park as they should. Again, when you're getting into these kit vehicles of any manufacturer, um, a lot of times things have to be fabricated. Some have certain options, some have other options. Some things don't work, some things do work. What's really cool about this vehicle here is it's very well sorted out and everything is in great working order. Um, some other things that you'll know on the outside here that uh, are really cool, these mirrors, this is the MS Classic Cars Touch. Uh, they came up with this in my service department um, because the mirror that was on here when I got it was starting to show some wear and tear. So we went out and we put on these dual custom mirrors here. These are chrome. They've got a really unique design to them. They're, in our opinion, look real, real slick. They look super. Um, it does have chrome brand new headlight uh, buckets. It has H4 um, headlights. Of course, the parking lights uh, have those chrome bezels, new lenses. It does have a uh, chrome front bumper. The gas cap, which is actually in the front uh, section here on the hood, you will notice that's a really nice billet uh, gas cap that looks killer. Um, the back of the vehicle obviously has new uh, taillight bezels and taillight lenses. And of course, when you order that certificate, uh, from Myers, uh, you get like a uh, few things that are included like the emblems. So the front Manix emblem is uh, on the front there. Same thing with the back as well. Uh, you'll see those within this video and within our photo gallery. Um, the vehicle does sit really, really nicely. It's got a great stance on uh, weld racing wheels. Those wheels are actually 15 inch and they have Mickey Thompson tires. So again, they fit really nice. I think they have a great uh, look to them. Uh, again, they fit the air of when this was actually uh, built back uh, early on in the or late 60s, early 70s, and so forth. So, getting into some of the interior features. Um, again, I'm six foot, and uh, you can see how comfortable I'm sitting in this. That's the other thing about these, is there's a lot of room in here, surprisingly enough. They're super comfortable to sit in. Um, if you want to, you can buy a top for this that actually connects to the front here and it connects to this roll bar. By the way, this roll bar was also painted the same color as this window frame, so they match really well. But it, you'll see if you go on the internet, you'll see what the canvas tops look like that go over here. Uh, we didn't really wanna add that to this vehicle here. We wanted to leave it as an open uh, vehicle, which we thought looks a lot cooler. So the new owner can uh, purchase that if he or she decides to. Um, but getting back to the interior here, this dash is an authentic uh, Myers uh, Minx dash. This is actually ordered from them directly. I actually have the receipt for that, uh, which I'll reference right here. That was done in 2013 when the restoration was done. Uh, that's right here. Here it is, uh, original dash directly from the manufacturer, which is cool. And of course it's black. And some of the things that are included uh, on this dash here, you got your headlights uh, that work excellent. You have both parking and uh, headlights. You do have an auto meter fuel gauge, auto meter oil pressure gauge. You got a uh, very uh, vintage style speedometer, um, oil temperature gauge, which is also an auto meter gauge and also a auto meter volt gauge. They're all black. There's also a little uh, power outlet here that you could plug a, a cell phone charger into. Um, there's a no smoking sign cover over this, which is kind of cool. Um, when we got this vehicle, the steering column was just not uh, satisfactory for us. Uh, it was an older 
column out of a GM, uh, I believe it was a Camaro. It was a little bit loose and a little bit, uh, I don't know, old looking. So we got rid of it completely. We spent a lot of money on this. You can check it out in our invoice. I think it was like seven or $800. We bought a Flaming River steering column. If you Google them, they're one of the best in the business and it's a tilt column. So somebody like myself, that's got longer legs, can slide in here, bring down the tilt wheel. It works really, really nice. These are billet uh, levers here. Again, I'll, I'll tip my hat to the guys in service uh, for doing this. They did a great job. These are not the easiest thing to install in these, uh, these dune buggies. We also changed the steering wheel. It had kind of an old uh, style uh, GT Grant wood steering wheel that we thought was a little bit outdated. We wanted to bring it up to speed a little bit, so we went with this black uh, wrapped uh, GT Grant steering wheel, which matches the dashboard, it matches the gauges, and in this section here kind of matches the weld wheels. So we thought it really flowed nicely. Uh, that's again what we do at MS Classic Cars. We don't just service the vehicles, we change things on vehicles cosmetically because we understand uh, market trends and fashion with cars and kind of what uh, people like to see. So these mirrors, as an example, uh, this Steering column, you know, the steering wheel, these are all things that we do. Getting into uh, the rest of this interior here, obviously the inner section is all painted uh, body color. It's in beautiful condition. All of the pedals are absolutely like new. Uh, the center console here uh, is really nice. It's a black console. It's got cup holders there. It's got a chrome e-brake handle, which works. Um, it does have this nice uh, e M, what is it, E-M-P-I uh, chrome shifter with black shift knob that actually works really nicely. Um, these seats, these seats are adjustable. You don't always find adjustable seats in these kits. Um, so again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm taller, but if you were a little bit shorter, you could easily adjust these seats back and forth. We did add new black seat belts. That was another thing that we thought was a little bit outdated when we got it. The seat belts were actually mismatched. So we actually ordered brand new black seat belts. They even have chrome buckles that again, follow the theme of the car. They look really well. The material that's on these seats is kind of like a canvas material. I'm assuming it's more of like a waterproof deal here, but uh, they're gray, they're super comfortable. They obviously were new when they were put in here. The back seat um, is a little bit different material. It's more of a leather-like uh, vinyl material here. Uh, so the passengers will have a, some nice comfortability back there if someone were to jump back there, or if you were to put something on the back here, um, it's got a really nice padded uh, rear seat as well. So that pretty much covers uh, most of the interior here again. Make sure to check it out on our website, msclassiccars.com, in case I forgot something. Getting into the engine. The engine in this vehicle um, is actually uh, a really uh, sweet motor. It's a 1973 Volkswagen motor. It came out of a Super Beetle. The motor was completely rebuilt. They did a super job with that. It runs absolutely awesome. The engine is dressed with a ton of accessories. You clearly will see that in all the photos. No money was spared on uh, dressing up that whole engine compartment. Uh, the motor actually has an electronic ignition system, so it starts really fast. That's the other thing with these vehicles, uh, especially when you put the Volkswagen motors back there. They're not always dialed in. At MS Classic Cars, we spend the time, we dial in the motor, we do everything that's necessary. Uh, we get into adjusting valves and timing. We set carburetors. We always get into replacing fluids and plugs and belts and everything else. So we went through this whole thing. And uh, again, this motor really, really runs awesome. I can't say enough about it. The motor breathes through Tri-Mill, which is a uh, brand uh, of exhaust systems. It's a chrome exhaust. It really, really sounds nice. You gotta get on the internet and Google that. Uh, they're pretty respectable. Uh, so again, it, it really sounds good. And the engine is coupled to a four-speed transmission. Um, I was really impressed. Uh, the guys were impressed in service when they drove this. The clutch is actually super easy, super smooth. It shifts through all the gears really smoothly as well. So I can't say enough about that. When we talk about the underneath of this, you will again see in our photos, 
Uh, that original floor plan was in beautiful condition. It was rust free. Uh, there was no need to do any type of body work. So that's a really good uh, feature. Um, it was painted black. All of the suspension, all the brakes, everything was gone through during the restoration. When we service the vehicle, because uh, the vehicle has been driven about 5,000 miles since it was completed, we kind of redid the whole entire brake system in this vehicle. We cleaned it all up, replaced the drums and so forth. You can reference our invoice that we have. We also decided to change the shocks. We went with a really respectable brand, KYB. They're silver. We thought they look cool because you can see them from the exterior. They've got so, like a red tag on them. We replaced all those as well. And again, we went through and we kind of serviced the whole undercarriage, made sure everything was good to go. Uh, these have front uh, adjustable for suspension systems. So you can kind of adjust it uh, accordingly. So I think it's got a great stance as it speaks. So again, we have gone through everything here from top to bottom. There's nothing for the new owner to worry about except having a ton of fun. That's what it is. More smiles, more miles right off of the uh, website for the, so again, check out that website, check out our website. If you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do. Uh, we have thousands of people. That's the best way to follow MS Classic Cars when we list new vehicles for sale and do things. Uh, you can follow our company. We also do a lot with social media, so please follow us on social media as well. Uh, again, we appreciate you watching this video. Uh, gonna go ahead and start this baby, let you listen to how awesome it runs. now. Normally, uh, what we do is we start a vehicle outside. Uh, we pull it inside after it's warm up for a few minutes. We do these videos. Vehicles are warm. They're ready to rock and roll so we can do what we need to do here. Today, I made another decision. I've done this on the last few cars that we've sold just to kind of show uh, people a cold start. So if you know much about these, uh, these are not typically vehicles that like to start up quickly. Sometimes it can take two, three, four, or five times before you get them running. Uh, so today, this is a cold start. We have not started this vehicle in probably four or five days, uh, so I thought it'd be a great idea. I'm gonna go ahead and just pump the gas pedal here a few times, make sure she's in neutral, turn it over, and watch how quickly this thing starts. That's it, cold start. I'm barely babysitting the gas pedal right now, and it's absolutely purring like a kitten. Couldn't be any prouder of how good of a job the guys did in service. Once again, I know it takes a lot of time for these cars to go through our service department, but it's worth the time, it's worth the wait, because we put out products like this. Again, we are definitely not the biggest, but we believe we're the best, and we really have a bright future at MS Classic Cars. Thanks again for watching, we appreciate it.